can't believe I'm doing another haul. I generally did not expect to go out and buy more stuff, if you know what I mean. Like, I was really satisfied with what I got last time, and yet I ended up getting more because, I mean, I've always got to have more, haven't I? So I'm back. This isn't actually my hat. It is a wig, which links will be down below if you're interested. And this hat is from sammydresses.com. I just wanted to say it because I know a lot of people always ask me where this hat is from. Some people were saying in the comments it's from Primark. I did write back and say it's from sammydress.com. I believe this is only, like, $6. I wasn't paid or anything to say that because I know people always think that, and I wasn't even told to say that. I just decided to say it because I just thought people always ask me what wig you wear and where it's from where's the hat from this dress is just a handy down from my mum's friends so if you're really interested there we go so ta-da I mean I don't know where she got it from and I'm kind of in it and it goes with the flow doesn't it, it goes with the whole outfit but the only reason I'm wearing this wig is because my hair is so greasy underneath it's a Monday and it's due to be washed tonight so it looks very bad and it needs washing so I mean a wig you can always fucking fly it on and I mean no one will know right so I'm going to first start off, I don't know where to go, should I start off with Primark because I didn't get too much in there but I just popped in and bought a few bits, I saw this little bag as I trotted in for nights out, this was normally a fiver and this was £3 and I know some people say it was a little bit tacky but I thought it was really adorable just for nights out because I just thought you know what why not so what can you do you go and whip whipping my motherfucking hair so I ordered the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Queen Eyeshadow Palette I've been wanting this for ages and I just decided to buy it purely because it's normally £40 and it was reduced to £28 so I thought why not get the bargain banner while it's in and obviously it's reduced because Jeffrey is releasing his new palette and Dodge New Witch is out I believe March the 3rd or 4th really excited of course I want it but I was so excited because I've wanted this for ages and I ordered it off Beauty Bay I ordered it the other day and I just thought it would be out of stock and I just am so excited I keep on ordering his products because I just see new ones on there and think yeah I'll have that and just look at this I desperately wanted it and I can't believe I have it. I just keep on buying these products because I love them. They look so gorgeous. I could not wait to fucking fly these on my eyeball sockets. Look how stunning they look. I've wanted this for so long and I just always say to people, get what you want in life. I know the camera's gone a little bit diagonal, but I always buy stuff that I want because I think at the end of the day, especially when you're working, you think, you know, I've worked for this, but I am, I have no responsibilities if you really want me to say that. I was going to say something else, but I decided to say it a little bit more better. Like, I don't have responsibilities, do you know what I mean? I live with my parents, I don't have kids, I'm not married, do you know what I mean? I'm not in debt, so I just think, why should I not enjoy and spend stuff on myself? So, you know, you might as well. Let me just adjust this a little, because I hate it when my mirror's in the frame, but then I don't really like that. I thought it was just one of those bags, right? I could throw this. And I wouldn't really give two fucks about it. I did buy another bag, but I thought I just want a smaller one. Do you know what I mean? Just in case I don't really want to bring much with me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'd throw it and I wouldn't have any feelings for it. If it was something like this bag and I threw this, I'd be going, oh, no, my bag. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of one of those little syndromes you have going. I picked up this bargain. You have to get this. This looks so... I cannot tell you. I felt like a Victoria's Secret model. Now, do you know what I mean? I get depressed sometimes about my body just like most people do I'm not going to sit here and say I'm really insecure but we all have insecurities you know we look at something oh I don't like this male or female regardless it's just human nature do you know what I mean there's always something you don't like about yourself and when I wore this I was like I look so fucking glamorous and I could not believe that this was five pounds normal price so this isn't even reduced this is the top I could not believe I saw this in Primark I was just you know in the underwear section I just saw it and I know you sit and you're like, oh, it doesn't look that good. It looks absolutely amazing on. It's so flattering. And then I do have the bottoms, which are here. And these look so beautiful on as well. It just looks so gorgeous on, I cannot tell you. And I just like I said, I never thought that I would wear anything like this and look good. Like when I bought it, I was like, this is the £5, do you know what I mean? But for £2.50 each for these bottoms, I promise you, try these on. I want to get all the different colours because these look stunning on. I could not believe the quality. I felt like this could get away with Anne Summers. I know when you see it, like, mm, whatever, but when you see it on, if you did a big fuck off photo shoot, you would think these are Anne Summers. You asked people and said, do you think this is Primark Anne Summers or New Look? They would probably say New Look or Anne Summers. I guarantee you, absolutely gorgeous. Love it. And just such a bargain price. I picked up this owl top 
This is normally four quid, it was two pounds. I always just buy little tops because I wear them a lot in the house. I picked up then this dress, which was just normally a tenner, and it was three bloody quid. And I know I don't really like these thingy my bobs, but I just couldn't, like I said in my last video, but I couldn't just turn down three quid. Because these are kind of dresses that I wear if I'm just casually going out. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't wear this if I was, uh, if, like, if I was trying to make a statement or... I wanted to really dress up. This is just like, you know, real casual. Do you know what I mean? I can pop into the dentist. Do you know what I mean? So they're just casual dresses just to kind of wear. Maybe you just want to make a little bit of an effort, a little bit of a scene. I picked up some 50p hand sanitizer because I just thought, you know, why not? You always got to have more, aren't you? I don't know. It's kind of crazy the fact that I've got all these products because I always really wanted these, but I just never had enough money to buy them. And it's just crazy that I have them all now. And I've got so many of Jeffrey's products that I'm going to carry on always buying them. I do want to do like a whole big review because I know a lot of people were asking me, you know, can you do a review on the highlighter, blah, blah, blah. And obviously I did get Shade No Tea, the metallic purple lipstick, and it's gorgeous on. So anyway, next I did pop into Boots. I just got a few bits and bobs. I picked up these, which are the Garnier's uh, conditioners. I always use my Dove. The last ones I bought, I left them in my shopping bag. Someone took them out in my house and started using half of the bottle. And I was really pissed off. I don't mind people using my shampoo and conditioners. Because obviously, like you guys know, I do have four brothers. And I don't leave my shampoo and conditioners ever in the bathroom. Purely because it's not because I'm being selfish. Because I use a lot. And I do, you know, obviously buy my own. Because I don't want like my mum to buy it. And I use all of it. So I just buy my own. And it annoys me if people go into my shopping bag and take my products. And don't even ask me. They use it. I don't mind if you use it once, you put it back in my room, whatever, but if you then they leave it in the bathroom and half of it's gone. And I just think, I know I can rebuy it, but what if that was really expensive? Do you know what I mean? It just pisses me off sometimes. Like, at least just ask me instead of going in my bag. It does piss me off because, you know what I mean? Like, you bought it for you and people are using it. So I'm going to hide these because it does piss me off because half of my condition is gone and that will only last me probably a week and it's gone do you know what I mean? because I do use a lot for obviously my hair because it is very long so obviously if you're not familiar with my videos you wouldn't know that so if you're just watching this for the first time you'd be looking at oh I've never seen your hair before but anyway I did a review on these years ago it's crazy to think that I did that and I was very bizarre in some of my videos I don't know what I used to talk about these were 199 each anyway besides the point but I used to blabber on about really weird stuff it was a bit scary I picked up some more original source shower gels. I've got so many now. This is a sweet apple and vanilla milk. Oh my. And this is the cherry and almond milk. You've always got to have something to excite you in the shower, haven't you? And I don't mean that to be anything crude or anything. I just mean just it just feels nice in the shower. You know, you've got something refreshing. I picked up two of these new deodorants. Now, I wanted to start using something a bit different. You know, obviously, I use my Garnier roll-on. And I just thought, you know what? I'm going to try something different. I asked one of my teachers in, uh, you know, college during my beauty therapy lesson, you know, like, what deodorants can you use that just that don't make you sweat? Because we're all humans. When we get nervous sometimes, we do sweat. It's just what happens. And I just kind of wanted to know. Like, I'm not, like, massively sweaty, but I just kind of wanted to know. Because sometimes when you wear, like, tight-fitted clothing, you know what I mean? Let's like, say I'm wearing a tight dress. I don't want to sweat for it just in case I get nervous. Because you, sometimes you beat yourself up. Like, I'll be going, I don't want to sweat, don't want to sweat. And I'll sweat because I don't want to sweat because I'm in a tight-fitted dress and I know it will show. So I asked her, you know, do you know any really good deodorants? And she said, try the claw. And it's like this one. She said for her wedding day... She tried this because she was, you know, obviously going to be nervous and it was, you know, the tight fitted one around the armpit. And she said she did not sweat at all. And obviously you just shave and you put this on before bed and it just seeps into the follicle, which stops you from sweating. So I picked up this one and I believe it's about £6. And then I picked up this one, which is Trust as well, because this is meant to be really good. Because I had a little look online and both of these, these were the last ones there. And I just thought I'm going to try them because... I really wanted to. Well, purely I did go into Boots to try and look for this. And um, this one was just there, so I picked it up. This was about £8. And this was the last one. And then I went back there yesterday and this was there, so I thought I would just grab it as well, just in case this is shit. And apparently, even if you do sweat with these, like a few people I've read on the reviews, even if they do sweat a little bit, they don't smell at all. And I just thought I would try it, because I just thought, like, obviously sweating is normal. I'm not afraid of it, I'm not ashamed of it. It's humans, you know, you shouldn't be embarrassed. But I just thought, if you're wearing something tight-fitted, you don't really want it to show. So I say I just thought I would try it, and these are all meant to be really good. So if you have got maybe really bad sweating problems, maybe try them out. I don't know, I haven't like, officially tried it, so I don't know. So I picked up them, I know, I never thought I would spend that much on fucking, what's it called, um, deodorant. Like, fucking hell. 
So there's them. So obviously when you use things like Garnier and that, they, they don't really stop the smell and I don't really think they 100% stop you from sweating. I'm sure I have said that, but I really want something to really stop when I'm nervous. So anyway, I did pop into the super jug. I bought myself a few bits. I picked up this again, which these are both £1.97 each. I always would buy them. I love Vinivia. I don't really use fancy dancy skincare. I'm pretty basic and cheap. You know, as long as you look after your skin, you're cleansing it, removing your makeup, drinking your water, eating all right, getting your sleep, you know, I don't really think at the end of the day I need to be using 50 pound creams especially at 18 I'm pretty basic as long as I'm using something at the end of the day so I really like Nivea and this is just a normal and combination regenerating night cream I've been using it for years and I've gone back to using this because it's just really light and gentle on the skin and you know I always just use pretty basic stuff I don't like I said I'm, I'm not really too expensive with my products you know so there's that and then Scott actually picked me these two bits up and this is the coconut infused lip balm and lip scrub collection this was 50p so basically you've got a little lip scrub in there and then lip balm and i thought oh that's lovely i was very happy with that so i was very thankful and then he picked me up this dry shampoo he said it was like one pound 13 or something this is the rose gold one and i just thought you know what thank you very much so he knows i love the teeth so that was lovely i love it when people just buy you little things like that it makes me so happy because it's kind of like the thought and i can't believe beyonce is having twins i think everyone was a bit shocked i was so shocked i was like what the fuck like when i saw the post i couldn't believe it i was like whoa like, how the fuck did she keep that one secret that was a real surprise so then next i picked up this which is the strawberry touch buttercream shower cream Again, I've got the chocolate one, which I bought in my last so I haven't even used it, but this smelt gorgeous. So I kind of had to buy it again. It just smells like a strawberry mousse, do you know what I mean? Like, I wish strawberries tasted like that, even though I do love strawberries. But I said about this before, you know when you smell stuff, it doesn't actually smell like that. Like fruits don't smell like that. And sweets don't, you know when you have like fruit sweets, they, like fruit doesn't actually taste like that. If you know, do you get my drift? Yeah, you get it, hopefully. Otherwise, let's move along. I picked up this, which I'm a fucking... So ashamed to always keep on mentioning this, but I do love it. It's the Nivea Double FX Eye Makeup Remover, £1.75, I believe, or £1.99. I always buy it. I have about 10 of these in my drawer, but I love it so much. You just shake it and it removes all your eye makeup gently and carefully and gets it all fucking off. I picked up another Batiste dry shampoo because it looked really sweet, and this is sweet and delicious dry shampoo. And I just thought, you know what? You know, the more the fucking merrier. I picked up one of these which is the Dr Rescue by Maybelline this is the CC Nails base coat I love just filing my nails down making sure they're all clean and then just having this on it looks so pretty on the nails it gives that pink effect it just looks gorgeous and I just love my nails looking clean so I do need to do them actually and then next I picked up this new baby lips which looks gorgeous this is in fresh pink and this is the meant to be baby lips for Valentine's Day. And I just thought, oh, I have to have that. So it's crazy. Like now I think back to it. Last year I did the review, didn't I, on one of them? And I had my big ginger wig on. Life does go so fast, doesn't it? And then I picked up the Lasting Perfection Concealer. Finally, this is in stock. Every time I go to Superdog, it's never there. This is in fair one. I do love this for spots. So I just threw that on. Then I did chop to Saggy Old Series. It has been a short minute since I've gone there. And I just really haven't gone in there and bought loads of stuff. So I picked up one of these, which I'm just going to get out because you might not be familiar. I mean, what we're using in the beauty therapy when we're doing manicures. Typically, you know, you might see one of these at a salon. You just slot your hand in there. And I just thought I'd buy another one. And obviously, normally you would have cuticle oil on and this would be warm water. And you just soak them in there. So it's just really handy, especially if you've got your own business. You can get two of these. They're only 70p or I believe they were 78 9 I don't know what the bloody hell they were. But bargain i thought jesus christ let's get that i picked up a venus shaver and this one oh is it actually got the head in there oh yeah it has this was five pounds and it was under you know the till bit you know where the perfumes are and i thought i'll just get this because i am terrified to shave my legs they are so bad i always just wear tights obviously because it's not summer anymore and i can't be bothered to wax them because it's so much pain so i bought a shaver for it so i thought let's try it and give it a go i picked up some tissues because this has been going around so much this illness it's got that blocked nose that sore throat that mucusy old gob and then you've got the headache you've got stomach aches you're having the shit some people are having it's fucking awful and you always need tissues because you know sometimes your nose can get runny what what then i picked up some of these which is just a buffer and i believe this is a quid it might be cheap but i just thought you know just to sort of use on ourselves obviously me and scott practice but this looks quite like quite a good nail file this is a quid 
just one of them, but I was like, look at those saggy old. Like, how the fuck did they afford this? They've got a few good beauty therapy bits. I'm throwing some trotting in there. Do you see Zoella's Kissy Missy lip balm? I saw it for 50p in Superdrug, didn't want to buy it again, and then someone else sent me a picture on Instagram and said, look, Nicole, I got it for 10p, and I was laughing, aww. I wonder if Zoella knows that. I'm sure she bloody well does. My earring's falling out again. Hang on. Let me fucking fly it in. Where is it? Okay, right, it's in there. Okay, so I picked up this, which is just some cuticle nippers. I already have some, but it's always good just to get some more. You know, these might be cheap, I don't know, but I just thought, you know, I'd get more just to sort of have them. Then I picked up these bits and bobs, which I wanted for so long. And this one is just the original source, the brand who does the shower gels. This is their Quench body oil, and I love body oils. I think it's so gorgeous, especially if you go to bed and you're oiled up on your decollete. I love, obviously I have my hair up and everything, and I love having it all oiled here. This is an area you really want to take care of, your neck as well as your decollete, as well as your face, because a lot of people just do their face and they forget about this area. And this is the area where a lot of sun damage can happen, is obviously your neck, and mainly here, because obviously the sun is gonna mainly hit you here. You need to take care of it. Do you ever see some people, and they have a really, you know, lovely face, but then they're decollete? And I'm not saying that, you know, you know face and body and everything is so, you know, skin deep, but I just kind of wanted to, you know, look after it, because I think a lot of people don't put on your sunscreen, mainly on that area. If you look at celebrities, you'll see their decollete always looks perfect. So look after you, like, do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you look and you think, oh, your, like, you know, chest area looks old. So I just always think, look after it, do you know what I mean? Like, oil it up, you know, obviously don't put oils in the day on it, but, you know, keep care of your fucking body because it will go wrinkly and old there. People forget about that area. So it's best to look after it. And this is just the watermelon and jabo jaboga oil, jaboja oil. I can't even say that. And that was 199. This was 199 as well. This is the vanilla and sweet almond. It smells like Battenberg. It generally does. I love Battenberg cake. I really want to make it homemade myself, actually, saying that. Gorgeous. Had to buy it. So that was a bargain. I've wanted them for a while. I picked up this Garnier Restoring Hand Cream. This is the Honey Treasures. This is for very dry hands. My hands do get really dry because I wash them a lot. And sometimes they get a rash along there. They haven't got it anymore. And this is just 199. And I thought, let's give it a go. I picked up this, which was 79p, and I love this. And this was just a re-bargain bunner restock. Oh, it's a little bit old around the edge, and I haven't even used it. Then I picked up this Nivea Colour and Care Red Lip Balm. Scott keeps on bloody banging on about this, and he loves it. So his lips do look really good, so I thought I'd give it a good old go. It was one bloody quid. It was the last one in there. But do you ever think sometimes in your life, life is kind of like Instagram. People see you around, but don't like what you do. Kind of like not liking your post, you know? I mean they'll stalk and look what you do but don't ever like anything it's kind of like that they'll see you but they won't like you I saw that on a quote somewhere quite a while ago and I just thought about it this was 199 I'm gonna get this more well, the reason why I'm gonna get this I bought this more like okay I bought this just for you know my brushes to wash them because I have not washed them in three weeks you see they've got Rihanna kiss it is it called Kiss It Better? No, it's called Kiss by Rihanna's new perfume. It's not actually in the savers I go to, it's not there yet, but you get a free bag with it. 25 quid, 100 mil. I want to get Crush as well. They've got Beyonce's new heat seduction on the Beauty Buys. What do they call it? SAS, you call it Star Buys. This is £13 for 100 mil, and that one was normally 30 quid. Can't believe that Beyonce's new big crush. She's a bit of bum, doesn't she, for her twins? And then she's got all her original ones, the Pulse and the Rise, and nine ninety nine for hundred mil. She's got all her other ones, you know, the heat ones. These are all twelve quid, hundred mil. It's just such a good deal. I need Rihanna. I want to get it. And then she's got the new Casey Perry Mad Potion. That one is fifteen pounds for hundred mil. Absolute fucking bargain. I just can't believe how cheap stuff is in saggy old savers. You just think it's such good fucking bargains. All David Beckham's perfumes, which are either 75 mil or 90 mil, 9.99 each. You think, Jesus Christ, they're good bloody bargains, aren't they? Fucking flying in. You got a bit of James Bond there, 007, 125 mil. Oh, what they fucking afford that? So anyway, that is saggy old. Haven't been in there a while. Oh, what else have you got in here? I picked up a Maybelline 60 second. Uh, polish because basically I wanted to do French manicure and they didn't have a French manicure kit anywhere I couldn't find one so obviously I need to get a, I have a light pink somewhere but this might not be the best but French manicures are so hard to do that I'm all right on the toes but as soon as you fucking get me on the hands it was awful doing it at college so scary 
I actually got past my assessment and I never did it. Like they didn't even know they got it muddled up and I just kind of went with it and then it was my last day and I finished. Really bad, I know, but what can you do? Anyway, so I did pop to New Look. My boyfriend did surprise me with a £50 New Look gift voucher that was actually for Valentine's Day, but I needed a little pick-me-up and he gave it to me, so I was very happy and I did not expect it at all because I kept on banging on about this red dress that I wanted for ages and he said he would buy me it. Obviously, I was going to buy it, but he was like, oh, I'll buy you it, don't worry. And he said he went in there and was in there for at least nearly an hour, scrambling around with five different red dresses, didn't know which one it was, so just threw them back and got me the gift voucher and obviously he was keeping it for Valentine's Day and gave it to me and I was very happy. I was like, you didn't really have to spend that at all. Like, I'm so happy when people buy me anything and that is a lot of money. I know some people will be like, why don't you get me a Pandora bracelet? Well, listen up here, bitches, because I don't want stuff like that. Do not like it. They just irritate me, bracelets. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm very fussy. If you want to either get me jewelry, which I don't expect anyone to ever buy me, I'm gonna buy it myself. I want a tiara ring and I fucking want a gold locket. That's all I ever want, and I'm gonna buy that myself. I don't need, and I don't expect anyone to buy me anything. I'm very, you don't have to buy me anything. Do not worry, do you know what I mean? Because I'll buy it myself, but I'm still very happy. And he said to me, oh, I thought it was not a very good gift. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, it's an amazing gift. Like, I do not expect hundreds and thousands of pounds. Like, that doesn't mean anything, do you know what I mean? Money doesn't always mean anything. I think when it comes to love, I think it actually means time on the person but obviously I was very happy I was like I can can I have a bit of both you know so anyway obviously I do always buy stuff myself but I was very happy and I got this red dress and it looks amazing on and this was £30 and the woman said the till this gone down to £25 and it is gorgeous and it looks so beautiful on and of course I'm very happy to be fucking flying in this and I was just so excited that I actually got it. I was like, yay, I can go and get it now. And we tried to town and I went and bought it. So there's that one. And then I picked up this dress, which was £11. And this was only 35 fucking quid. This was just in the sales. I just had a little rummage. And again, £11 just for this. I'm not too keen on that there, but I thought it might look like a cocktail kind of slag. You know, you know, the emoji kind of dress. I don't know. I just sort of thought it looks a little bit different just to be flying around in. So there's that one, and then I did pick up these little bunny ears, these were 3 99 and I saw them, I've got so many, I said about this in my last video, so fucking many. How could I bloody turn these down, these are adorable, I had to have them, not even bunny ears, they're cat ears, Christ, I'm a nightmare. Anyway, I did pick up this one, which was, how much was this one, this was normally £40, it went to £17, and then when I got to the till, it went to at least seven pounds which is a really good fucking deal i could not believe it no one has bought this i have seen this there for at least six weeks i picked it up quite a while because i kept on picking it up and putting it back down i believe it's probably the same dress this is size eight as well and this was 17 pounds i kept on picking it up and then i just thought you know what i'm going to buy it for 17 pounds because i really like it i finally decided after six weeks obviously i really wanted it but i always wanted other stuff more that was cheaper so i always went and bought that instead but then i just thought you know what i'm going to pick it up and it was reduced so i was very happy it was reduced even more and this looks so beautiful on this will be perfect for summer because i wasn't very short on this color with my skin tone but it pulls off really well and it will look good with a little bit of a tan and obviously you know in my beauty therapy course we do have tanning mixed in with it so we're going to be doing tanning in around april so i'm kind of excited to have a little bit of it. i've never had a spray tan in my life so i'm kind of excited just to see what i'd look like so i know i won't get addicted to it because i'm not really someone who does tan because i can't be fucking asked. i picked up this dress which was normally 30 quid this was 15 pounds and again, this is so gorgeous, like a Chinese restaurant. You know, I'm in a scene of Kill Bill, I'm in the back eating my sushi. Do you know what I mean? I kind of got that vibe when I was looking at it. I always say that about clothes, don't I? But sometimes I do. I picked up this gorgeous bra. And I didn't know the bras were all buy one, get one free. And I didn't know, the woman told me at the two, she said, oh, they're all buy one, get one free. And I was like, oh, I didn't even bloody know. And I just, there's a bit of fluff on it there. And this looks beautiful. And this is in the size, so I picked up size 10. It doesn't have the U34D or something. But look at that, this is only 10 bloody quid. Gorgeous, I love these bars, they're so comfortable. Find the ones with like padding really annoy me, like even this bar, they are getting annoying. And this one is similar to the Primark one, but I couldn't find any other bra because I kind of had all the other ones that were there. So this was 15 quid, so obviously I paid for that and got the other one for free. And I just thought, you know what, I'll get this one just to sort of fly in. 
because that one was more of a top the Primark one and this is actually like a bra but I love this detail here and I just thought you know what I'm going to pick up another one so there's that and then I did pick up myself a winter coat obviously when I, I paid with a voucher and then I paid with cards the rest of it you know with money and then I picked up this coat you know my coat the weather has been awful it's been rain and windy it's been disgusting my coat just you know when it rains and you put it on the radiator to dry and it has that brittle old moldy smell i had to just put it in the wash it's really old as well my coat like i've got coats but they haven't got hoods with it so i needed a new coat that was going to be good for the rain good for the storms but with a hood because i have like loads of coats but i would say they're more jackets so i picked up this one and this was normally 50 quid I look like a caterpillar in it, but I kind of like it. And this was, uh, it went down to £30 in the sale. And again, I did look at this around two weeks ago and I tried it on and I was going to buy it. And I was like, oh, I don't have enough money. Like, do you know what I mean? I kind of spent all my money. And then obviously I went back there, had it still there. And then I went and bought it. And this was £24. So she said at the top, I've gone down again. So it is really lovely when you go and get stuff in the sale and they are reduced again. I do love it. I'm not going to lie to anyone. 